Hey guys, my uh, second part of my blackjack tutorial, and I will show you what the end product will look like. This is it here, and as you can see, there's quite a bit more coding that we need to do. And I'll show you what it's like. I think you've seen this in my other tutorial. I don't get the music in this one, but you can check score, play again. But yeah, you get the, the point there. So we'll be doing something along that line. So for second part here, we want to open up our blackjack that we first created. And this is where we left off. So next we want to add a make our cards smaller because we need to put um, the computer cards in as well. Either you can make them smaller or you can make them make the form bigger. It's up to you. But for the computer we're just gonna put three cards for now. But all you can do is hit control C on one paste it three times and you get the computer cards. There, you just need to rename them. Take your um, text out, if it has any. So once you get that, highlight both of them, all three, and then visual, uh, we want set to false actually, so it's right there. Alright, so we want to declare some more integers. These will be computer, the computer cards. So I have a bunch of other projects that I have made, and I'll show you those guys, uh, in a few seconds. And if there's any of them you guys want me to go over or make a tutorial on, I will certainly do that. And I'll go show you all the other projects. I have quite a bit of them. They're all right here. So there's adding machine, which adds numbers, calculate the squares. Calculates uh, like four by four squares. They'll draw them two by two squares, whatever you want to put in. Uh, a bunch of converters. Like Hello World was my very first project I did. So, all right. So, for a computer card, what we want to do is we don't want to. We want them to generate as soon as the form starts up. So, what we want to do is go back to our form and just click on the form itself, double click it, and it should open up a new um, private sub. So we'll take these here, cut them, and we'll paste them down on the form. For our counter, by the way, we want to make this public so we can use it anywhere on our form. <coughs> All right. So now we want to put computer card one equals ten times random close your brackets plus one and do that this for the other ones here. You can just copy this here if you want. Probably a little quicker. How the festival com computer rate? There we go. All 
All right, so once you got that, we want to make it so the label can hold this value. So we'll put LVL computer card one dot text, so the property equals computer card one. And you do that for all of them. So now we got the. So now when we run this, hit draw our cards here. You see we don't get these ones because they're set the um, false on visible. What we're going to do next is we're going to put um, check score, and when you click check score, it's going to display the three cards that the the computer has. So we'll go back to our form, and we'll go add another button. <coughs> we'll do more work on the button later. But for now, we're just going to set it so we can see the cards of the the computer. So we'll name the button name ETN check score, and the text the check score as well. So now we want to double click on this, and then we'll put LVL computer dot text dot visible. Sorry. Equals true. LVL computer card one dot visible equals true. Do that for the third one as well. So now, once we play this and draw our cards, check score, and you can see the computers. So later on, we'll um, get into a more advanced else statement, if and else statements of checking who is over 21, who is equal to 21, if they're both equal to 21, and so on. And that takes a lot, a lot of fiddling and screwing around with to get it actually perfect. So, Alright, so now we want to add a play again button. So, drag another button over. And we'll name it play again. BTN play again. And we'll name the text play again. So now what we want to do here is we want to reset every single card and hide these three cards again. So we'll double click on this and we'll put the very first thing we will do is copy these ones up here. So control C, control V, and then just backspace and then pick false. Oops. So now we want to reset the card values. So what we'll do is go LVL computer card one dot TX TXT equals to um, two of those, and then what that does, it just clears the text box, it puts no value into it. So we'll do that for the computer cards and also the player cards. Alright, so now we'll do the LBL cards. .txt. Alright, so now if we hit F5 to play, draw the cards check our score, and then play again, and it resets them. And you notice we can't draw any more cards. It's because we don't have the, the counter. We haven't reset the counter, so the counter can't reset. So that's what we need to do now. So we'll just reset the counter. Counter equals counter. And we'll subtract five. Actually, no, we won't do that because what if the player just clicks the button twice, then it'll be in negative. So we'll just put counter equals zero. Draw our cards, check score, play again, and we can draw our cards again. Check score. Computer hasn't generated them. So what we're going to have to do is take 
this code here. And we'll just put it down here. Just keep everything organized. So now, if we have our five, draw card should work. Check score works. Play again. Check score. See, and we don't want that to happen also. Check score is chosen, so we're going to have to disable those buttons. And we'll put another if statement in here. If counter equals five or greater than six, or we just put greater or equal to five, then MS message box start your your saying so we'll put um, you can't draw anymore if I can spell anymore cards so that will happen every time the counter equals five or greater so and now we want to put the very first of this. Actually, when the form starts, so right here, we'll put btn check score dot enable equals false. So that will disable that button, so you can't press it until until you want. The player to actually check it. And what we'll do now is put it back up here. So if the counter equals one or greater, the button is enabled then. So if counter equals or greater to one, then btn check score dot enabled equals true. So now if we play this, we can't click check score yet, but if we draw a card and then click draw check score, we can. So after we ch click check score, we don't want them hitting draw card. So once they click check score, btn draw card dot enabled equals false. So now we want to reset that in the check, uh, play again button. So btn draw card uh, enabled equals true. btn check score dot enabled equals true. Draw card, check score, can't draw any more cards. And Check score doesn't do anything because they already clicked it again. So if you play again, draw cards. You can't draw any more cards. Check score, play again. So what we'll do here is in, we'll see how much time I got left here. 14 minutes. All right, I'll continue this into another part. So I'll see you guys in the next part.